All right, everyone, welcome back to the final Whale Wars. Uh, if I am not stupid, this should go live on Sunday. So I will not waste your guys' time. I know a Whale Wars weekend, WWW, or WWW, Whale Wars weekend, coming to an end here. You're back to back to back to back to back. The Whale Wars is over. I promise you guys, Monday video will not be a Whale Wars. So let's take a look at the first battles. Here we got I Got's Crayon and Twilight Mexican coming in hot for some battles. I thought we might have already showcased this one on the channel, but I was wrong. And here we go. So love this one. We love to see it. So here we go. We got Gigan coming in. Coming in Gigan. There's a hetero. It's going to get the Evo for sure. Gigan here. Jet Jaguar here. Strat that we have not seen, at least that I can't remember seeing uh, in this tournament. They're getting pushed up. Let's see what happens. Bylon, they the acid slap, push them through. There's the guy again hitting the uh, leader right there. And then Psychic Chorus, but it's not going to be enough between all of the damage being put out. Very minimal damage was put on the leader. But then, you know what? For the first few seconds of the game, it's kind of an intimidating strategy. I'm not even going to lie. I will not even lie with you. So here is the Kamakaris. They're just going to boop tap that guy again, and he's dead. End of story. He is dead. All right, there we go. There are some embos on the play. Again, with the embos and the Super Xs, man, it is like crazy. So two Super Xs on the field, a bunch of embos and Kamakaris to protect the Super X. Let's see how well that works. There is Jet Jaguar. It's going to take aggro from the uh, from uh, Twilight Mexican's... Uh, I was gonna, about to say playlist. Uh, Super X, uh, but the other enemy Super X are going to run through this Jet Jaguar like crazy. It's it's the way things go. Jet Jaguar was a really strong unit uh, when the game like first came out. He was the third unit to ever get added. And then uh, Psychic Chorus came out the next month and put him in his place. So here we go. Up on the leader, we have Gigan hitting the leader. Super X was turned around. Could not help there. Bailante is going to take down this guy. going to take down these Embos. Mothra Leo is a bit, a bit distracted, but he's going to get the job done. He's going to take down this Super X. Almost a second course again. Super X. And then Batra is going to get the Evolve for sure. He's out of Mothra Leo's range, no doubt. And then Mothra Leo is going to get distracted by this group over here. A Dimension Tide. Mm, not going to work because he evolved. Wasted that Dimension Tide right there. No worries. Going to get some hits on the leader though, I think, right? At least one hit. Two hits probably, right? One hit. I don't think he got hit a second time. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. We got Psychic Chorus and Hedera moving in. We got Jet Jaguar being placed down. Jet Jaguar Gigan being placed down. Let's see how that turns out. Because they are focused on the Emboss. Here is the Mothra Leo play. Probably hoping to hit the Super X with the Mothra Leo if I had to guess. But Hedera might be within range. Oh, it doesn't matter because there's the Kamakaris. So the Kamakaris are going to be a nice little distraction for the Leo. I think, I don't know, he's not going to be able to kill the Super X either because between the Super X and the Hetera, it is over. Oh no, he does kill the Super X, but he's dead. So Bailante is under siege now by Batra. Gigan just pulled up and Hetera, it is a lock there. Shout out the Hulk coming in for the Whale Wars chat over there. So, all right, so that was a W there for Crayon. Twilight Mexican cannot hold off that final assault. That was a quick battle, but it is not the last battle we got today, folks. We got the next one right here coming up on london if it loads there it is all right so bylante leader very strong on london i don't think either of these teams are using bylante as a unit there's hulk again shout out hulk i think i make an appearance in one of these if this is the whale wars chat there's no doubt i i, I perpetually on discord so there there i am look at that look at that there i am at least they were in the ground. I don't even know what I'm talking about there. And it's disappearing way too fast. So I can't even read it. But we got Jet Jaguar and Gigan right up on the enemy leader. We got the Emboss over there. Ah, I blocked it. But the Batra is evolving. There's a Burning Godzilla now, actually. So Psychic Core is down here to heal up the Jet Jaguar. That's actually going to be pretty good damage there. It's going to protect from the explosion. Leo and Jet Jaguar are up on the enemy leader. Holy shit. This battle, could this battle end here? There's the, the Cheeky Dimension Tide. No way. And we thought that last battle was quick. Holy hell. Let's run that back. I got to watch that again. It's frozen. That's okay. That was crazy. That might be the fastest Whale Wars battle we have on record for sure. No doubt. Let's take a look at this next battle. That was ridiculous. I, I, I suggest everyone rewind 
and go watch that. So we have a win for Twilight, and we have a win for Crayon. This will be the final match to decide who wins. That was crazy. I didn't even... You know, I saw the strategy not really work. You know, the rush with the Jajaguar and the Gigans early on. But, um... Thought that wouldn't really work too well after we saw it fail on Tokyo, but on London it was crazy, right? So there's Leo coming up on the Burning. Burning is protecting Batra though, so I doubt that uh, we will be able to, or we, Twilight will be able to kill that Batra. So Burning is still alive. Batra is going to hit the Evolve. Super X is occupied on Jet Jaguar and Gigan. Let's see what happens. There was a Super X place, but the effect never played. So Gigan is dead. Jet Jaguar is still going strong though. Still going strong. Is he trying to go for that sneaky Dimension Tide? No, I wouldn't play that Dimension Tide just yet. I would hold on to that. I'd pocket that. There's Mothra Leo coming up. Mothra Leo will probably kill the Batra if I had to guess because of the rush. There's so much damage. There is the Dimension Tide right there. Kill the Burning. Guy against pushing the Burning. Actually, very interesting. So, kill the Burning. Leo's going to go down to the Super X. Guy has appeared in front of the... Biolante leader, so it is on. We got Super X and we got uh, Gigan hidden, but oh, but Super X was distracted by the other Gigan. So Super X is still alive. Gonna get a few hits in before the other Super X kills it. So Hedera has evolved. M balls are gonna be marching through that bridge any second. Gonna distract the Super X for sure. But at least, I don't know. At least he's recharging energy. So we have the other Super X here. And Kamakras coming up. We're seeing, we're seeing so many Super X's and Kamakras in this tournament to like protect it. And it, it is like being like such a crazy fixed strategy. I hope you guys are taking notes from all these battles if you're watching them. So, Hedera, Super X, and the uh, what's their fucking called are coming up on the right side. The Emboss. There's the Acid Slap for the r extra range damage for. Jet Jaguar, Jet Jaguar is fighting Gigano 4 over there. Gigano 4 is soloing these units over here. It was not enough for him, and it wasn't enough for Jet Jaguar either. There's the Dimension Tide to kill the Emboss and get the other two units down really low. Now we got a few really low uh, health units. I almost felt like maybe Super X could have been a better play there, and it could have hit them from far away. But we have what we have now, and Leo is fine. The Kamakras are all right. There's a heal. Let's get some on the leader. Get some on Leo. Make sure Leo is ready to battle because he's distracted with the Kamakras and this uh, Batra is going to town on him. Here we got another uh, Gigan placed in defense. Gigan just ran up on the Bailante leader. Batra is still alive. Burning is still alive. This AoE is not really helping. Don't know what that is, that message. Shout out. You got a new uh, story quest, Twilight. Shout out to you. And there we go. There we have it. Crayons takes the W. Takes the W there. Two insanely fast matches followed up by a very back and forth match, right? So, crazy. Actually, how long is have we been recording? That might be the fastest Whale Wars. This was the fastest Whale Wars. I think earlier this weekend I said we had the fastest Whale Wars. This actually was. That, first, that second match taking like 17 seconds or whatever it is. Crazy right let's see if we can get that let's see if we can get that back let's see if we can get that to replay again so oh, it's freaking scuffed crashing again that's fine crazy battles all around today very fast battles i this is probably the battle that most impressed me this frozen one and it's unfortunate because it's frozen i want to watch it again but uh i can watch it on my own time thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed whale wars weekend if you watched it and i will catch you all on the next video which is not going to be a whale wars Bye bye